Ladies and gentlemen, we're underway. With the second semi-final, Hasnan representing Team GB, cornered by his head coach, Sohail Alam, who's producing a lot of great fighters in the region of Gilgit and Gilgit City. So, so Hasnan has been just so impressive. He's taking on Tanzil here in the second semi-final. Winner will be facing the vampire Shahab Aliridi in the final. Both fighters feeling each other out right now here. Good inside leg kick by Tanzil. Oh, and another one. Hasnan returns. Heavy shots there by Hasnan. As he takes it to the ground. Beautiful. Good scramble by both guys. Yeah, Whoa. Tanzil just trying to throw him out through the cage. Tanzil roughhousing Hasnan right now. Hasnan grabbing a hold of that neck. Sohail Alam passing on instructions through across the cage to Hasnan. Hasnan trying to get some kind of a guillotine grip here, but Hasnan Tanzil will take him down. Committing to it. It's hard to see from here how, how tight he may have it. I yeah, feel like Tanzil's right arm is there to help him out, but yeah. The Hasnan. referee taking a close look. Tanzil's going to be okay here. Snan's abandoned the choke. Tanzil. Strong shots by Tanzil. Ooh, really oh, non-stop. He's grabbed a hold of the leg, has a snan. Beautiful, beautiful work by his snan. A good job by Tanzil. The defense getting back, trying to get back up. Oh! oh he's got to be careful here. Hasnan could have a potential north-south choke here if he can get his head free. He's going to be okay with that grip over his neck. A scramble back up potentially, but no, Tanzil's now trying to get the back. He needs to get a vertical base, throw that right leg over. Hasnan with multiple takedowns now in the very first round here. Tanzil still doing a good job of defending this. Good hand control by Hasnan, but Tanzil with the transitions, my god. I was really impressed with Hasnan's ability to float over and get in the right positions. Tanzil's showing a lot of the same here today. Good control by Hasnan. He's just tiring Tanzil out right now. Very little time left in the round. It will be interesting to see how the judges saw this one. Ten seconds now. Stan's going to try to secure a takedown. Whoa. Great takedown there. Good job by Hasnan. Oh. Very close. He's threatened with a triangle there at the very last second of this round. Hasnan did a good job of succeeding multiple takedowns in this round. So you would imagine looks good on the judges' scorecards. Tanzil's going to have Hasan John Turi in his ear. And Hasnan, of course, has Sohail Alam inside the cage with him right now. Let's see what happens as we go into round number two. Both fighters showed signs of life, showed good input into the fight in this first round. As we proceed to round number two, don't go anywhere. Stay right here at the National Fighting Tournament 3. See if either fighter will look to adjust. We haven't seen a lot of striking in this fight. Yeah, it was a very close round though in the grappling matter. Very, very close. Would hate being a judge. But I feel like the judges hate being judges too. <laughs> yeah, but Hasnan did succeed multiple takedowns, so I don't think it was that close if you think about it like that. Yeah. There's a case for sure. But nonetheless, you never know. You never know. Down with 
Ground number two here. Zeal has that hand outstretched. Let's see what he can do with it. Circling out, trying to create space in a pocket, cutting angles. A stand waiting very tentatively for the first move. Inside leg kick misses, Stan was ready for that. Stan's definitely thinking about another takedown here. He's waiting for something from Tanzil that he can either duck under or counter off to set up a takedown. Yeah, it seems like Stan is just taking his time. He's, he's looking for the perfect shot. Tanzil on the back foot. Good block by Stan. Oh, that's what we were talking about. Yeah, with that left hook, not land forearm, definitely hit the ear of Tanzil. But Tanzil now trying to muscle him there. Beautiful, beautiful work there by Hasnan. Yeah, Hasnan understood what was coming. And even now, he's really, really holding on. And doing a great job here. He's very strong as Hasnan. Good side control by Hasnan. He's got a grip around that neck. Tanzil trying to go into body lock. Tanzil trying to work his way back up. Hasnad could potentially work his way to top mount from this position. Wow. Good job by Tanzil. Tanzil just used sheer strength to get out of that one. You can hear him grunting. Yeah. Let's see how far that will take him because Hasnad, like I said, just so good with his positional awareness. Just like that. Falls on his back, but immediately turns, ends up on top. Very smart game plan here by Asnan. Exactly. Just dragging Tanzil to deep waters right now. That's what he tried to do in the first round, and he's doing the same in the second. The problem with using sheer strength is you tend to tire yourself out quite easily. Maybe yeah. that's what's happening with Tanzil here as well. Tanzil is a really, really big lightweight. Yeah. And they don't look like lightweights, so... <laughs> you could tell that... He holds, uh, he possesses a lot of power, Tanzil, but the longer Hasnan keeps, uh, keeps this up, the more that drains Tanzil. Exactly. Less than a minute left here. Hasnan staying busy with those knees. Good job with those knees. Ends up back on north out. Cannot throw any knees from here. 10 seconds left on the clock. The way Hasnan just flows from one position to the other, it's a work of art. Yeah. Like even when in those scramble situations or he's getting taken down, he just knows exactly where to put his body weight so he can end up back on top. The Zil looks tired, but he has one round ahead of him to recuperate. So far it looks to be Hasnan who has the momentum on his side. The winner of this fight, of course, has Shahab Al-Iridi waiting for him. Let's see what happens as we move forward with this, the lightweight semi-final of the National Fighting Tournament 3. Don't go anywhere. Stay right here. Way with round three. Tanzil. Tanzil energized for the round number three right now. Oh, beautiful right hand by Hasnan. I think Tanzil is just showing urgency right now because he knows he is possibly behind. Yeah. If this goes to a decision, it goes in Hasnan's favor. Tanzil needs to get that leg free. Hasnan's not going to allow him to. Tanzil back up on a vertical base, but for how long? back on his knees now. Yeah, Tanzil needs to keep it standing if he wants uh, it to go somewhere good. Snan gets floated over, but again, retains position. Great job. But right now, Tanzil seems to be controlling the momentum and the movement of the Minus fight. Good job by Tanzil by just grappling Hasnan right now and maintaining a dominant position. Control time is what he needs. 
then it's up to the judges scorecards but if he wants to make something good happen he needs to get back on his feet and needs to start start striking with his hand because he's not been very successful on the ground with him both fighters back on their feet as Hassanan has a double leg there. 90 seconds to go into the third and final round. Hassanan cleared the GB trials. Beautiful work, beautiful work by Hassanan. Cleared the pre-quarters, cleared the quarters, and seems to be on his way to clearing this. But Tanzil needs something and he needs something fast. This beautiful wrestling by Hasnan, the control which he is possessing. And Tanzil, you can see, is just fading away now. His energy is giving up. He's just tired and he wants to get out of this. A minute to go. Tanzil is doing anything right now to just get out of this. He's trying to push off of Hasnan, but Hasnan's grip is so tight. He's hitting Hasnan with some hard shots, though. Yeah, he's trying to get those legs free and get back up. Stan's not really going to allow it. He's going to try his best to make sure that doesn't happen just like that. Stan's going to have to add something to his attack if he's looking to do this with Shahab Ali Ridi tomorrow, assuming he gets through, which yeah. I mean, seems to be a foregone conclusion at this point. It's going to be a tough competition between both of them, but Stan needs more output. And plus, it varies fighter to fighter as well, Daniel. 100%. Last 10 seconds of the final round here. I'm sure we all know where the decision is going. That is the end of the round. It looks like Ilgabatistan has their man in the final. The corner for Snan led by coach Suhail Alam. Really happy. But we will be back with the official decision. Do not go anywhere. Stay right here at the National Fighting Tournament 3.